Hello class and welcome to module number one. The focus is on the history of adult learning and also uh, looking at different learning theories and then finally getting into the adult learning model which will serve as the backbone for this course. When we look at the history of adult learning, there are a few things to keep in mind. Number one, it's a relatively new field of research and area of study. Obviously, adult learning has been around for as long as man has, but there really hasn't been a great deal of research on it, especially up until, say, about the 1970s. And that's when we, begin, we began to start doing some research and realizing that, wait a second, uh, adults and kids don't learn the same way. And pedagogy, which focuses on uh, children and their learning, doesn't necessarily apply to adult learners. And we need to change our approach and develop uh, I guess a learning style that addresses these adult learners. So there was us uh, to look at uh, psychologists and how they went about thinking about adult learning and it continued to build to one of the more prominent adult learning theories now is andragogy and we will rely on this as our main model. There are other models but as you see andragogy I think ties into a lot of these other module or other learning theories and uh, is a good framework to use looking at adult learners. And then also thinking about technology and the role technology has played in, tra in transforming adult learning. Just think for this class how now you can access this course anytime. Anybody can take it from anywhere. Uh, the resources, the technologies available to deliver content has changed and made it uh, more or made it easy for anybody to access courses, material, learning. I talk with a colleague all the time about how with the internet now, you can learn just about anything online. There are free courses, there are several videos. You could learn, you could just pick a random topic and go to YouTube, search the internet, find courses and find videos and learn just about any topic now. So technology has really changed uh, options available to adult learners. As far as from a, a main content for this week, I have one article talking about the adult education movement and how uh, adult education is rising and continues to rise and how it will eventually change higher education as more and more adults go back to school or continue their education such as you are. And then also I got an article here on the evolution of adult learning and you will, we only read pages one through six for this week, but we'll go back to this article later. It has a lot of really good information relating to adult learners. And then I have a video on the history of adult education. So that's our main content. There's some key points I also want to bring up as well. Once we have an understanding of the history of adult learning, it's important to think about different learning theories and how they apply to adult learners. So as I mentioned previously, andragogy is, I think, the go-to model for adult learning. Again, it has its critics, and there are definitely uh, some points that it makes that I, I question a little bit. But I do think it's a very strong model. As I said, it's something we are going to refer to in here on a weekly basis because it does touch on so many of the key points of adult learners. There's also self-directed learning and this idea that Adults want to take the initiative and learn and uh, learn on their own. They don't want to be uh, handheld through the learning process. If you think back to your high school days and how you were taught where the teacher is the focus and they disseminate all information. Well, with adult learners, that's not necessarily how we want to learn. We want the opportunity uh, to do the learning on our own. There's also transformational learning. And it's just the idea of you, you change the way you look at information and, and to change the way that you approach learning and how you think about yourself and the world. And there's a lot of interest in this form of learning for adults and the idea that I want to learn material to change how I view the world to how I see the, the world to become more informed. And there's a huge body of literature on that as well. And then also I did include pedagogy, even though it is not an adult learning theory. 
it is what adult learning is often compared to as you can see from our little diagram here that compares pedagogy to andragogy and identifies the differences and what a, the pedagogy attempts to do as far as what is andragogy attempts to do and the approach they take to learning and as we go down i got a couple articles here that look at several different learning theories one of them expands on the adult learning theories and what other theories are out there and how they relate to adult learning and as we go through this course you may find that you don't think andragogy is the best approach uh, for adult learning and you're more self-directed learning or another avenue and then we're also just going to look at in general learning theories and this is a really good link because it shows numerous learning theories out there and how uh, they apply to learning and it is really interesting to uh, look at these different learnings i'll pull them up right here so we scroll as you can see different uh, from behaviorist to cognitive to constructivist motivation human theories design theories and models identity theories so as you can see there are numerous or almost a, it seems like an endless array of learning theories even that deal with you know children the media to mental models of learning and the whole idea behind any of these is to explain the learning process and how we can go about educating individuals whether it be children or adults so obviously not all of these apply to adult learners but several of them do and i just look through those and see what uh just get a good uh feel for what these different learning theories are all about the last content that i want to go over this week is the andragogy model as you can see here this will be the basis for the course and we'll go through the different components looking uh, initially at the core learning principles uh, moving out to the subject matter and situational differences and then also looking at the goals or purposes for learning but for this week i want you to focus on these core principles and the idea behind Andrew Goji are these are the core principles of adult learning. The learner needs to know uh, why, what, and how. And the idea behind that is in order for adults to uh, learn something or be engaged or ready to learn something, they want to know why they're learning it, they want to know what it is, and they want to know how they're learning it. Then you have your self-concept of the learner being autonomous, self-directing. So if you see that goes back to the uh, self-directing learning theory and the idea that they don't want someone to uh, walk them through the, the content. They want to learn it on their own. And uh, they want to go out and actually uh, learn what it is they're trying to learn. And uh, not that traditional classroom where there's a teacher in the, in the front of the class. Uh, prior learning experiences think for you guys the the amount of uh, experiences you have and what you bring to the table the example i always like to use is at my previous institution as i was going through the mba program looking at the discussion boards and you could see there were some students who came just straight from college and then you had your other students who had been out in the workplace and had all these experiences that they could go back to and were a resource and you could see the difference how they how adults use these experiences and how they shape their learning and uh, bring those practical experiences to the learning and try to relate the material to those experiences you also have the readiness to learn and it has to be life related if for me example to go learn about biology i mean, i really have no interest in that because it's not life related it's not a developmental task it's not going to help me i get to where i'm going so there, there's a readiness to learn because adults are learning it for a reason it's gonna they're gonna increase their development as an individual it's gonna uh, relate to their life it's gonna add to what they're doing just for example with all you guys there's a purpose you are in this class you're not in this class because you have to be as you know, compared to a middle school or high school who has to be there you are here because you want to be here because you want to uh, better your life then you get into the orientation to learning which it needs to be problem-centered contextual it needs to relate 
to adults experiences their work environments what they know uh, if that doesn't occur there, there's not the value in it and if they can't relate it to what uh, they are doing there's not a lot of there's not as much value and the desire to learn isn't there and finally the motivation to learn it's a, an intrinsic value the personal payoff adults everybody always talks about adults are more motivated to learn and without a doubt they are because there's an intrinsic value to it to get that degree to get a better job that personal payoff you're not just uh, going to school because you have to go you're going again because you want to go so focus on those for this week we're going to spend more time uh, next week looking at those as well but this this model is what we were going to use for the course and i do think it does a really good job of explaining adult learners so to wrap up this first module as you can see we have the history of adult learning uh, that's where our content's out for the week we have a couple articles to, to read through there that, that gives us a background of the history of adult learning then we have our learning theories make sure you go through and look at those different learning theories again the the focus of this course is on adult learning and we're gonna i'm gonna spend the majority of the time looking at andragogy uh, there are other options available as well we also have the adult learning model which will uh, be used throughout this course so it will be referred to in numerous assignments as you can see in your assignment number one i have a link to all the resources used this week in the module and then finally as you can see i try to keep the lecture portion of the course somewhat brief because we don't as adult learners we want to have control over our own learning and the instructor needs to step back and be more of a guide instead of someone who delivers the entire content for you uh, hopefully you enjoy this style again it's always interesting with courses such as these where you're you're teaching a concept but there's also the application of that concept as well as we go through this course with all of us being adult learners so if you guys have any any questions at all about this module do not hesitate to uh, contact me